72% of you guys watching my videos right now are actually not even subscribed. So why not subscribe? It's free and it helps the channel out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video. Originally I had a Warzone video planned for you guys, but I've had to scrap that idea that was going to be tomorrow's video, so make sure you do look out for that. We have received the biggest possible leak we have received so far in Modern Warfare 4 Season 4 and the coming future as well. So not just Season 4, it's past Season 4 as well. There's so, so much content to get through. Hopefully you enjoy the Warzone gameplay in the background. It's not the best, it's just something to look at whilst I'm talking to you. But honestly, these leaks are insane. Before we start these leaks, make sure you guys are hitting that like button and make sure you're smashing that subscribe button as well. But anyway guys, we have a lot of information to cover so we're going to get straight into this right now. So all of these leaks have come from in-game files from data miners over on PC, so they're mainly PC players as you can't really data mine on console. And not all of this information is going to be releasing in just Season 4, so a lot of it is going to be released in Season 4 but not all of it. Some of it is going to be released past Season 4, like Season 5, Season 6 maybe, as there's simply just way too much for Season 4. But Season 4 is going to be the biggest season we've had so far in Modern Warfare there's a lot of insane things going to be happening especially in Warzone mainly but possibly we could see some of this uh, in season 3 as there is one big up one more big update before season 4 does begin we have like two weeks left to season 3 so not long but there is one big update as well coming to it but firstly we have a bunch of weapons that are going to be released into the game the first weapon is the APC-9 which is a 9mm SMG it already has four blueprints and more variants whatever you want to say already listed in the in-game file so that's definitely going to be an SMG will be getting in the game another big one for me which is probably my favorite one that so far is that we have received files for the vector but this was actually leaked way at the beginning of the game alongside the crossbow and there's also audio files in the game as well so this could have been something that was meant to be at the start of the game or and they've scrapped it but personally we saw the crossbow at the start of the game and that was released so i think we'll definitely be seeing the vector in season four and i can't wait for that one then we see a file for the hk g28 it's a rifle similar to the ebr14 but apparently has better accuracy so it's, it's the most accurate rifle so at most accurate marksman rifle but we don't have too much information on this one as of right now so it's something we may see in the distant future rather than season four after that we have another huge one which i'm sure a lot of you are going to like which is the galil the galil is a classic in Call of Duty as we all know and it was a beast in Black Ops 1 and I'm sure the Modern Warfare version will be absolutely just as insane but unfortunately there is only some audio in the game and it's not the best quality so I don't know if we'll be seeing this in season 4 it might be a later release but at least now it is coming to the game and the final weapon we see is the XM109 which is which kind of looks like the Barrett 50 cal but it's actually a grenade launcher and it's similar to the XM25 from Modern Warfare 3 if you guys remember that it was a pretty awesome gun so a bunch of weapons being added to the game which is pretty awesome can't wait for the Vector or the Galil as well so they're going to be so sick but alongside the other weapons we have other content files and confirmations such as so official season 4 content goes this was all mentioned in an interview with Taylor Kurosaki and Amos Hage I think that's how you pronounce their names I could be absolutely butchering their names so I'm sorry they did an interview with Gamergen and they mentioned duos for Battle Royale are on the way but there are some bugs they need to fix first that was said about a week ago and this was said about a week ago so I think duos will be 100% coming to season 4 so make sure you look out for that it's going to be insane they've just got to fix a few bugs then we can have duos which is going to be awesome. Hamus also confirmed they will be bringing new modes, new operators, new field upgrades and other new things you can put on your loadout straight away and other things you can find in game that are not actually part of your loadout which is pretty interesting. Not sure what these things are going to be that you can't put on your loadout straight away I have no idea. But anyway more recently we see the new Warzone modes that are going to be added which sounds absolutely insane as well. We have duos one shot which is going to be duos obviously but to headshots it's going to be a one shot kill every single time, infinite gulag, bottom line, most wanted, run like hell, classic battle royale, mo gulag mo problems, non-stop, pew pew, realism and inf inflation redeployment. Not entirely sure what any of all these game modes are but from some of them I can kind of get a rough idea, maybe run like hell will be something to do with the storm, infinite gulag is obviously you can go to the gulag as many times as you want. But the other ones I don't really have any idea but because there's so many game modes leaked here I can't see them all coming to season 4. Possibly a very slim chance but a lot of them will be but not all, a lot of them might be maybe towards the end of season 3 or season 5 but they definitely will be coming which is awesome also which is very very interesting as well we are going to be seeing map changes coming to season 4 
also, like in the style of a live event, similar to how Fortnite did things, like when the meteor hit or whatever it was. And the way I see them doing this is that the dam is going to flood the map. And obviously, as we know, there's bunkers around the map that you need to enter a code to actually get in. Maybe you've got to find the code, and when you get in the bunkers, the map is completely flooded and it changes it all completely. Because supposedly there is another side of Verdansk, which we have not even seen yet, which is very interesting. I wonder what it could be like. There's going to be so many new areas to explore, and I'm not even used to this warzone map right now, and I'm going to already have to try and start learning it again. The reason I think the dam might be flooded because as you can see in the the main title screen before you click multiplayer warzone, you see the dam in the background and the water flowing out of the dam. But in game, that's not actually how it looks. So that's why I'm thinking that. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty much all the warzone leaks we've got so far. So there's gonna be huge changes, more weapons, more areas on the map, more lower options, loads of different things. It's gonna be insane for warzone this season, hundred percent. But coming away from Warzone, we have a few leaks from a while back that will be coming to Season 4 in the form of multiplayer maps. We've had a ton of unreleased maps in the files, obviously I'm sure you guys have heard like Hard Hat and uh, I can't remember the other one. But we get new maps every single season and there's a lot of maps here. I can't tell you what the maps are like, but I can tell you roughly, well I can tell you the names of them, that's all I can tell you right now. We have Borderline, Takedown, Offshore, Ferida, Emporium, Layover, Assault, Harbour, Breakneck, Oil Rig, Scaries, Fallout, Firing Range, which is interesting, Garden, Ravine, Oasis, Malyshev, Hair Rat, and Promenade. So, not really sure what any of these maps are, maybe Firing Range is hopefully the classic Firing Range, I hope. We also have some gunfight maps, which is Fork, Hulk, Exclusion, Boneyard, Cornfield, Theatre, Townhouse, Train, Trench. Walco, Drainage and Layover. So they're all the maps that we have got given and all the information that's going to be given for Season 4. Uh, in terms of the multiplayer maps, I didn't see Hard Hat on there. I know that was released at the beginning of Season 3. So hopefully we'll be seeing that or maybe we're going to still see that at the end of Season 3. I don't know. Hopefully, I do hope so because I really love that map. The one of Modern Warfare 3 if you guys didn't know. But maybe some of these maps like such as Harbour might be like that Sea Town map I think it was called off of Modern Warfare 3 as well. But just renamed slightly a bit like how they did Backlot but they called it Talisk Backlot. You know, you know, it might be a map we've seen but it's just got a different name. But honestly, I'm so hyped for season four. Hopefully I didn't rush through this information too much and you guys sort of understood what I was saying cause just because there was so much and I wanted to fit it into a 10 minute video. So hopefully you guys did understand. But anyway guys, I'm gonna have to end the video here. My Warzone video that was meant to be going up today is gonna be out tomorrow and I have another Warzone video after that already planned. So two new Warzone videos coming in the next two days. So look out for them. Definitely gonna be pumping out a lot more Warzone content on the channel. I'm loving it recently, even though it stresses me out to the absolute max. Definitely want to strive for becoming a better Warzone player. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new around here and want to stay up to date with Call of Duty news, gameplay, all that kind of stuff, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. And if you did like the video, smash a like. It does mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.